Hi, Hi we're, we're Don't, Don't Tell Tina. Watch us weeknights on the set here on OUTV. Uh, back in 2015, we started the band, and uh, our bass player at the time had a notes file in his phone filled with a whole bunch of different band name ideas. And we looked through that, and one of them was Don't Tell Alice, and we thought that was cool, but we wanted to change uh, the name Alice because it doesn't really have a significance to us. Plus, it's kind of, I mean, there's Alice in Wonderland, there's Alice in Chains. So we came to Dina because uh, the house that we started the band on was on Dina Street. And that's where we wrote all of our first songs and where we had all of our first practices. And so it's Don't Tell Dean. Uh, me and Chris started working at Top Golf in 2015 and met each other through there and went over to a housewarming party. And then he was like, you know, you want to move in? And I was like, <laughs> I mean, sure, because I was looking to move out anyway. And then there was a drum set there. And I was like, oh, you play the drums? That's pretty cool. I kind of play the drums. He's like, actually, I don't, I mean, like, I like to and stuff, but um, he's like, I play the guitar. Um, I was like, oh, well, I play the drums, you know, so we kind of, you know, got connected through there, and then we started jamming, and he said there was another guy at work um, that played the guitar, and so he wanted to join in as well, so.
favorite place that you played at? And, oh, you know. man. I think this one this one's a diff, different for all mm -hmm. of us, but I liked, um, we played a show at a venue called The Yeti in Tulsa. I think that was, that was pretty cool because one, there was a lot of people, and two, they were into it. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> it was, that was cool. That was my favorite. That one was pretty cool. Um, I've always liked the shows that we've done at the Jazz Lab, um, the most recent one in particular. Uh, there were just tons of people there. Um, sounded really good. Everything you want. Mm -hmm.
what is the craziest story that you have? Like Oof. someone crazy who oh, did something, man. someone backstage maybe? I know this one, I know this one. We played, uh, we played Paseo Arts Festival one time. Oh man, and this. This is just, this is just bad. I remember <laughs> like, we were playing, the, the last song that we played today, That Way, it was still kind of, kind of new at the time. Not really. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I, like, we're... like we had played it enough to where yeah. like, we should have known it. But we were also, we had a fill-in drummer because he was in Italy f uh, for family vacation. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. So we had a fill-in drummer who like, who learned the parts, like kind of more or less. But yeah. the kicker was when we played that way, I completely forgot the whole second verse, <laughs> like the whole, all the lyrics. And then I kind of looked over at Campbell and I was like, I can't remember. And I was like. No, no. Because I, the way I remember it is like, <laughs> you were just playing like as if the solo was like, there. like time to solo. Yeah. And I was like, I I go over to him and I'm like, hey, you know there's a second verse, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, I know. I was like, just I was like, just start the guitar solo. Well, no, and I I like <laughs> went back and I was like, okay, like maybe he just needs to get a feel for it. Like we'll play the, through these chords and then he'll start it. And I was like, you can sing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, just jump into the solo and he just immediately. And I was like, it. okay, I guess. <laughs> It was, for us, it's like, I mean, for us, it's just like super cringy, and you're just like, oh, man, that's just... Yeah. And like, some of our friends were there, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> there were, yeah, there, that, I feel like that was the first show where there were like, really a lot of people, and I was like, man, mm -hmm. we really, mm -hmm. we really screwed the pooch on that one. Yeah, yeah, there was a time where I started a song in the wrong time signature. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Which, for like, keeping rhythm, that's like the cringiest thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, Yeah. <laughs> That was that also was when the, it was kind of newish. And that was at the yeah. arts festival downtown. Like, there was people there. <laughs> yeah. Early on, we messed up a lot when there were people there. Yeah, yeah. How do you get back on after something like that? I mean, I realized it as it was happening, and I was like, okay, it's yeah. going to be even cringier if I just switch time signatures, like, randomly. So I just kind of kept on going in 4-4, four, four, and then... It's jazz. Finally, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah jazz. So then finally, when I went into it, it just kind of all switched and everything was good from there, but...
what's like the craziest place you played for or played at, I guess? Oh, man. Man, we we've had some uh Twister Fest is That one's an interesting one to get to in Chickasha. Mm -hmm. Cuz you're like like once you get off the highway it's like there's really not much here and then like you get to the place and you're like wow what is this place yeah. it's yeah. a big field i mean you know probably at least 50 acres yeah and there's like like part junkyard part like yeah. like, a, like a little lake yeah we, we, we played a show that was like on a dock over water i think both of them yeah both of them were yeah. on dock so like i would look over to my side and there's just like a, a field of water that's kind of cool yeah, yeah. Feel it right, paint the void, make it run, hold it in long. 